Good evening, Keller Williams. <laughs> if you got that movie reference, drop a comment below. It was terrible, but we tried. Okay, so um, this is Command Homepage, and we're going to show you some new tips and tricks today. So we're going to go to Settings. We're going to switch to our personal account and not our team. And we're going to go to Connect Settings and Marketing Profile. Ta -da. If it will work. Okay, we're going to refresh our page. And then try it again. There it is. Okay. There is a new section called Slogan. My new slogan is coffee, contracts, and closings. So you can now add your slogan up to, I believe, 150 characters. If you didn't know, you can also add your designations and credentials, your military affiliation, your biography, and all kinds of other stuff. So once you're done, you're going to press save. Why is it saying that? <clears throat> okay, maybe I have to put HTTP. Cool. Okay, so um, note to self, if you're putting in your website, you have to have the HTTP colon backslash backslash. All right, so that was the first thing. We're going to refer to our notes. And I have lost mine. Okay, um, I want to show you something new for individual agents. I'm going to pause work. It didn't work, so we're going to refresh our screen. Oh, command is acting finicky today. Okay, we're just going to sign back in. Here we go. Okay, if you are an individual agent, I want you to scroll all the way to the bottom of your screen. If it's not there. Why is it not there? Okay, well, supposedly by the end of the weekend, individual agents are going to have the activity tracker. Um, currently, this is only available in Teams. It looks like this is probably going to be at the bottom of your screen. Um, I did the customized homepage and made it at the top of mine so that I would actually see it. Um, but to do this, you just select submit. This URL will be the same every time. So if you just want to favorite it, instead of having to go through the link every single time, you absolutely can. You can also backtrack up to seven days. Today was a good day. I didn't spend any time. <laughs> finding new clients today. We'll work on that tomorrow. I didn't talk to any. I didn't do any of these things, although I did mail some circle prospecting. Everyone I spoke with was in my database because I only spoke with the existing clients. I didn't have a new buyer appointment set today. I didn't attend any today. I didn't write any new agreements today. I didn't get any contracts written. I didn't have any closings today, so I'm going to leave myself some notes about what I did. Okay, I attended several meetings with regional staff. I have like three today. Um, that occupied a lot of my time learning new tech that's coming to you guys over the next week or so. So we're going to submit. Um, I don't think that individual agents will have that comment section, although I hope that they do in the future. So then it shows up like this and it tells you what percentage is uh, GCI. 
you can see today or this week. Um, the individual agents, so if you are not on a team, you will not have this leaderboard section. I want to show you how this translates to reports. So we're going to go to reports and we go to activity. And this is what it looks like. So see how I have my little face there? I did that by going to settings. Is it going to load? Are you going to be our friend? All right, while command loads, I'm going to take another look at my notes here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Come on. You can do it. There it goes. Okay, so we're going to go to settings. We're going to go to command settings. And somewhere in here, there's something that says activity log. Reporting. Okay, so you're going to go to command settings, reporting, and then activity tracking. In activity tracking, um, I have mine set to start sending a daily reminder at 10.30 in the morning. Um, it says that things should be submitted by 11.30 a.m. I'm actually tempted to adjust this time. I'm going to start sending them at 3.30 in the afternoon and say that they need to be submitted by 5.30 in the afternoon in the evening. Um, send up to two reminders. I labeled the days that I work. Um, I work every day but Sunday unless I have like a buyer in town or something, you know, special circumstances. And then also I have it set to where it does not send me reminders on holidays. And then I have it set, you can set it for each team member. Um, let's go ahead and press save. There we go. So now it will email me reminders starting at 3.30 p.m. Monday through Saturday to remind me to fill out my activity tracker, which I'm surprisingly bad at doing. So that is that. The next thing that we're going to look at is saved searches. Save searches are one of my favorite functions that we have. We're going to pull up our Elise Jenkins. We're going to pull up our dummy account. We're going to go all the way to the right to save searches. Create a saved search. We're going to select find on map. Now, do I have to select this? Custom. We have to select custom under location and then draw on map. My bad. So now we're going to click this little thing. Hello. No, I don't want to do that. Oh, look at that. We're drawing. Oh my gosh, folks. Apply. I'm going to look at $50,000. To $200,000. And we want a lot. Eh, I'm not worried about keywords. Um, I don't want this, 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 this. Well, foreclosures are fine. I don't want these. I want a lot. That's what I want. Um, your bill, I don't care about any of this because I want literally a lot. Lots in Rocky Mount. Okay, here's where we get the fun part. Send email notifications. The email notification will go out to the client immediately. Please, 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 I cannot stress this enough, please make sure that they have already downloaded the Keller Williams Consumer app and that they've already assigned you as their agent on the app. 
Um, I wish to receive instant notifications. Please set this to accommodate your client's preferences and yours. And then we click save. Okay, so I'm going to pull up my handy dandy app here, consumer app. I did just get the email. Only this time. So if I go to more and then used to be, is it feed? Okay. So if you go to feed, your clients will get a notification that says, hey, your agent sent you a save search. Well, here's your, here's your search results. They can favorite this. So if, for example, I click on this one, like we opened this one, we're going to go back to timeline and look at that. It pulled it up the 702 tonight. I pulled this up and that you created this search for me. Look at that beautifulness. All right. So what did we learn today? We learned that we can now draw save searches might be my new favorite function. Um, this keeps them out of Zillow and Realtor.com. And if they don't want to receive the MLS updates, they don't have to. It also gives you the ability when they say, hey, I liked the yellow house. I have no idea where the yellow house was. And you're like, okay, do you remember any part of the address? Nope, I sure don't. This gives you the ability to look at every property that they actually looked at on the app and find the yellow house. What a phenomenal tool. Uh, we also learned about the activity tracker that should have already been functional for individual agents. Um, I'm not sure if it wasn't because I have a team account or if they just haven't pushed the update through. They are also releasing a way to connect uh, Keller Covered to our individual opportunities. We'll have to go in and do that through settings. I will show you guys how to do that as soon as they release it. It was supposed to already be released, so I'm not sure what's going on there. All right, y'all have a good night, and I will be in touch as soon as they release some other stuff for us. I hope y'all have a great weekend, and we'll see you on the next one.